After doing all the engraving work for my Christmas decorations and the crayon box project, the inside of the Glowforge was in desperate need of some cleaning. I'll be following the cleaning guide posted on the Glowforge website and showing you the process. By the way, have you subscribed yet? If not, please do so, and if you have, click that bell icon to be notified when I post a new video. Glowforge recommends using these Zeiss Lens Cleaning Wipes to clean everything with. There's a link in the description below. I start by cleaning the top of the machine. Next, I removed the crumb tray, emptied it, cleaned it, then cleaned the bottom of the machine before putting the crumb tray back in place. Next, for the printer head. Now you do not need to unplug the cable to clean this, I only did so to show the camera. There are two little windows on the bottom that need cleaned. After that, it's time to remove the lens. Grab your lens removal tool, and while using the remove end, place it in the hole until it grabs the lens. Clean both sides of the lens while only holding the outer ring. Once finished, use the install side of the lens tool to put it back in place. Then wipe the window on the side of the print head. Once finished, put the printer head back in place. Now I'm going to remove the mirror from inside of the printer head. You only need to do this every 120 hours of use. But given how dirty my machine was, I'm doing it anyway. Carefully remove the top of the printer head, and then remove the mirror. Gently clean it, check it for damage, and replace it just like it was before, and then put the top back on. If there's any visible damage to your mirror, take a photo of it and contact Glowforge for assistance. There's also another laser window inside on the left of the machine that needs wiped down. Next, I use more wipes to clean up the laser tube. Finally, clean the lid camera lens and the rest of the window glass. I was originally hesitant to clean the machine, but it's actually pretty simple and painless. Next time I'm going to use some Zeiss spray lens cleaner and a microfiber cloth for the lid glass and save the wipes for everything else. The residue was just too thick for the wipes to remove easily from so much surface area. They work great on the smaller windows, mirrors, and lenses though. Well, that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others. If you've not already subscribed to the channel, please do so, and I'll see you next time.